I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about polar coordinates. In problem number 31, we'd like to convert the polar equation r equals 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta to Cartesian coordinates and then we'd like to describe the resulting curve that we get in Cartesian. All right, so um, let me start by rewriting my polar equation. We have r equals 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta. All right, uh, and I'd like to rewrite this as a rectangular or Cartesian curve. Um, well, I don't really know how to convert sine of theta or cosine of theta over to Cartesian as is. But I would, I do know something about r sine theta and r cosine theta. I know that x is equal to r uh, cosine theta and that y is equal to r sine theta. So what I want to do here is I need some r's in here to help me out. So let's just multiply both sides of that equation by r. If I do, I already have an r on this side, so I'll have an r squared. And on the other side, I get 2r sine theta plus 2r cosine theta. Now I can use these two pieces of information and a third piece of information. I also know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So let's plug all that in together. I know that r squared is x squared plus y squared, so instead of an r squared here, I get an x squared plus y squared. And on the other side, I get two times r sine theta. Well, r sine theta is y, so I just have two y. Plus two times r cosine theta. R cosine theta is just x, so x. So I've changed everything that I had here that was polar into Cartesian. Now I could just clean this up a little bit so that I could actually see what kind of a curve this is. So what I'm gonna do is let's move the x's and the y's over to the other side and I get that x squared minus two x plus y squared minus two y is zero. If I wanted to, I could complete the square on this x squared minus 2x, and I'd get x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 2y plus an additional 1. So I can completed the square on the y squared minus 2y is equal to, well, I added 1 and 1, so I need to add 2 to the other side. All right, now I can rewrite this thing. This is x minus one quantity squared plus y minus one quantity squared is equal to two. And that we recognize as the standard form of a circle. So not only now have we written this curve as a Cartesian curve, we also know exactly what it is. This is a circle. It has radius, square root of two, and it is centered at the point one, one. So this is a circle of radius square root two centered at the point one, one. And that's exactly how I would describe the resulting curve if I needed to.